Hello there. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Oaken. It's another one of the games that is in the Humble Bundle or Humble Choice for February. Uh, I don't know anything about it. I always like to try to play these games without looking them up beforehand. But uh, yeah, uh, take a look. And if it seems like it's interesting to you, the Humble Choice, I think you can get it until sometime in March. So you have plenty of time. And I'll be testing out all the other games as well. So let's just get right into it. The lady has finally awakened, but found herself surrounded by aggressive spirits. Luckily, the Pathfinder is here to help. Oh, did I accidentally skip the conversation? <laughs> we need to defeat these wild spirits. This is you, the lady. I, the icons below you figuring out your attack and health. Uh, hi. Okay. So you can move, and it sets your direction as well. Okay, so it's like a little like a Warhammer type war game, it looks like. So let's go this and probably face that way. It's a spell. So I can cast it on this person. Okay. It's Lumi. I guess that's like your mana or your actions or something like that. Each unit has a frontal arc. Be careful not to leave your back exposed. Attack units will counterattack. Okay. You can always use the undo button if you make a mistake. Oh, that's nice. Let's go on the offensive now. That's one thing I actually like a lot about games adding recently, is especially with like puzzle or strategy games. If there's like a, um, if there's like a strategy or puzzle component, I like it when you can undo because. If you screw up and you have to start over the whole level just because you make one mistake, it's it's kind of just annoying, to be honest. It's, uh, so it's nice that a lot of games have been adding that. Okay, and now I'm going to summon someone. Put you here. Oh, that dealt damage. Well, that's cool. Uh, let me show you around. You can always send feedback. Okay. Prologue, the Blooming Fields. This is the world map. Here you can track your journey down to the oak. The wild spirits seem to be catching up. I'll tell you the rest later. For now, let's scram. Okay. Is this a roguelite as well? A friendly spirit appears to be in trouble. Okay. Even the most peaceful spirits are acting mad. We have to be very careful. You shouldn't trust any. Ooh, look. Is that a tinker? So cute. Be right back. One. Oh, I see. I'm like a little... I'm like a child spirit. We have nowhere to run. We need to stand our ground and defeat the incoming enemies. Previewing a unit shows its abilities. There's a glossary. This battle has bonus objectives. Okay, so this is who I have to protect. And I can summon someone has plus one plus one while on a green square. Oh, what is this? Activates ability on death. So this thing explodes. Oh, and this summons enemies. I see. Interesting. So it's going to summon a wild orbling. Okay. So can I? I'm too far. Oh, I did not mean to move. Undo. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, see, that's nice. I would have had to start over there just because I, like, accidentally clicked something. Uh, let's face this way. I want to attack this. Can I not attack that? Not in my line of sight. I see. What about this one? So, can I not attack the burrows? I guess I can't attack those. So, we'll just attack this other person instead. Okay, and uh, that's all I can do, so I guess we'll just face this way. Burrow summon hostile spirits. It's a spawning area. Ah, oh, okay. Wait, but why would I block them if they get summoned anyways? That doesn't sound helpful. Let's awaken this thing because it deals damage to adjacent enemies. Nice. And I guess that's it for me. Uh, looks 
summon this. Just put it here so it protects the little Lumi. Although I'm pretty sure this mission is already over. Can I attack? Okay. Nice. Diligent Wisp creates green upon moving or being summoned. Okay. Although Tinker managed to catch a wisp. During the current run. During battles, you will draw cards at the start of your turn until you have four in hand. This is where you can manage your inventory and upgrade your cards. Speaking of upgrading, you now have that wisp. Drag it into a spirit to enhance it with a new ability. Okay, so these are like your card upgrades, and I can upgrade something here. Uh, does it matter what I upgrade? Okay, so I gave it plus one, plus one. And I gave it that growth ability. I did it? Was it? I didn't pay attention to its stats beforehand, but that's fine. Uh, first sight of the eclipse. Cleanse the eclipse terrain, dusk or influence. So they also have stalkers and this warden thing. And it blocks me if I'm standing right in front of it. We can't hear the voice anymore, which makes him dangerous, wild. What does it mean? You really have no idea, do you? The lady is, in fact, extraordinarily clueless. Let me explain. It's what gives us form and makes us remember who we are. Some kind of timeless spell known as the Oak Song. Now it is lost, as are most of the spirits. I think I might know the cause of this mess, and I believe you can help me restore the order. Okay. <clears throat> so... Be able to go further, we need to cleanse this eclipse terrain. Keep in mind that levels may have various objects, and this time we don't need to focus on defeating all enemies. You now have access to skills. They cost one Lumi and can be used once per turn. Always take notice of the environmental rules. They can radically change how the level needs to be played. Use your new skill on the seedling to cleanse the enemy terrain. Okay. Uh, one second. I want to just check that the audio is correct, like the audio level. I noticed in the last video it was a little too loud, uh, and it's always hard to tell when I start playing a new game. I increased the volume a little bit. Hopefully that's a little better. And, um, I want to use this to clear this. And uh, I can put this one here, because now it'll be stronger. I can't attack this turn. But I can move this way. And in my turn. Oh, well that was not good. <laughs> Just like lost that unit, essentially. So let's remove that stuff. So that it's weak and then I think I can uh, move here and finish this guy off hmm. and then I can clear these using this unit oh did I win run I'll grab their attention meet me at the oaken bridge got it broken ridge got it what no okay never mind I'll just find you just run Okay. I think we lost them. Mr. Pathfinder gave us some unusual powder. Let's see what it's good for. This. Lumi Dust is gained by completing objective and completing collecting Lumi Crystals. You can use the upgrade button to spend it on increasing the level of your spirits. So I can upgrade this. Uh, I think that increased the stats again. And I don't have enough anymore. I'm not sure how to tell how much of this stuff I have. Eh, I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Some particularly powerful foe is blocking the further path. I guess we are on our own now from now on. Now, where is that broken ridge? Huffing heavily, the tinker points towards the approaching silhouettes. Oh no, please, may they be friendly spirits. 
A graceful yet quite irritated figure jumps down from a nearby canopy. You there, Sprout. What are you doing here? Get behind me. You can't stay here. Okay. Well, this is like a an elite bot, an elite unit, I assume. This enemy is a hero that can use active skills just like you. It is voiceless. It inflicts fatigue on dealing damage with attacks. Oh, that's scary. It's permanent damage. But it's removed at the end of a chapter. Okay. So this game's like tactics, you know, like a war a warhammer type game, but in Slay the Spire style. That's pretty cool. Uh, I have a guide, a powerful spirit that accompanies me on my journey and provides me with a unique trinket and skill. Trinkets are a rare item that give you and your units passive abilities. Enemies on green take damage. Oh, that's nice. I can, like, create uh, hazards for enemies. So, I probably want to... What ability does this thing have? So this one can create purple. Uh, so I should probably hold on to my seedling until later so that I can clear a bunch of the purple that they produce. Mm. Reach. Interesting. I think I want to start just with summoning... Well, I'll create some green here. And then summon this unit. And then I'll move here and attack. And I think that's all I can do. Okay, so now they created purple ground underneath. But I can just clear it. And then summon a Tinker. And that lets me move behind this unit to deal damage without getting counterattacked. And then likewise, do this here. damage and I think I'm good okay yeah this boss was uh, not really very challenging although this enemy deals fatigue damage right I didn't really pay attention to that uh, I hope I didn't just take a bunch of permanent damage I'm Aya not wait aren't you the lady for Oak Song you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Dang. Everyone's looking for this little kid. A new guide, Aya. Awake creates green under enemies in its line of sight and deals up to two damage to them. Increasing with distance. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can attack any enemy in its line of sight after moving or rotating by any means. It can only attack in melee that turn. Okay, so I, it's a ranged unit unless I move. Activates the ability upon being summoned. And then I got the the trinket. That's cool. I always like the long range units like in Advance Wars and other like tactics games like that. I always try to set up like a moving wall of artillery. <laughs> uh, Lumi Globe. Use one to upgrade a spell or two to upgrade a skill. Okay. Good job there, Sprout. Now let me give you a few tips. Oh. Be careful about that fatigue. Uh, when a unit's max health falls down to zero, it becomes exhausted and excluded from your deck for the rest of the current chapter. You can heal fatigued and exhausted units by using the heal button. Let's do it now. Heal. Uh... Not too bad. That Eclipse Spirit also had a Lumi Globe. Let's try upgrading. So it's 13, like my current HP, or is that the amount of fatigue damage? It went up when I healed, so that must be my current HP. And upgrade my spell. Deal 4 damage to a unit in my line of sight, and then it gains Drain, which heals me. This pushes enemies, and this ensnares enemies. I feel like ensnaring is pretty good. I like that. Well, it seems like you've got it, Sprout. Let's get back to the map. Healing's probably pretty good, too, though. Maybe I should have gotten the healing. Make a decision to gain various rewards. During events, you can choose the outcome you like the most. Choosing better rewards usually means receiving some fatigue. Look under the giant log to get a seedling. Check the narrow lair. Get a stalker. 
or search the area to get both. Well, I mean, I'm always going to pick the greedy option. So. Uh, yeah, that was now I have 11 HP. I feel like I run out of units pretty quickly in battles, but maybe since this is the tutorial, you just have a small deck. Let's see who's the better shooter. Defeat all enemies, use carvings at least three times. Do they really think they can take us on? Uh, okay. Car uh, these are the carvings. Some enemies can shoot from afar. Avoid staying in their line of sight. You can also use carvings to reach them quickly or prepare for their attack. So step onto it to gain strength and shield. Uh, has an extra move. Oh, that's cool. So I have three... Uh, whatever this is called, Lumi. Yeah. Three Lumi. Defeat all enemies. Use carvings three times. So let's start by making a stalker here. Oops. And face this way. And I can't move the turn I place them, right? So I'll just make some, uh, some green under my stalker. Okay, that enemy just like uh, suicided there. So use carvings at least three times. So this unit can only move one space. I didn't realize that. I have four now. So I can do this, and then this unit can be placed farther away because of the ability. Uh, and I think that's all I can do for now. So I can finally place this unit. Let's place her here. Nice. And then next turn, this unit will spawn and I can take it out. I want this unit to move this way. This unit to move this way. And I need to move out of range so that this thing stops hitting me. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, so this one can attack, right? Nice. Uh, this one I can take out. Hmm. I'm gonna move. So I'll move here. Oh, yeah, I always forget to pick the direction. Take that one out. Deal damage to that one. And then do this. And I don't really want to attack because then it's just gonna hit me back. Um, I'd rather just do this. Oh no, this is fine. I can attack it. This one will die, but it'll take one damage at the end of my turn. Nice. It's... I, di I didn't actually pay attention to what happens if my units pass out. Uh, I'll be equal to the number of green adjacent to it. That's cool. Let me show you one last trick. You can use the destroy button on unwanted cards to turn them into Lumi. Try using it on your upgraded spell. Okay. So let's say you refund upgrades. You can undo. Okay. That's cool. Um, and then that gives me a new spell. That's a healing spell. So let's upgrade that. Restore to yourself or a nearby unit health equal... Oh, sorry. Heal fatigue. That's pretty good. This gives strength. And this gives shield, so the options are stronger healing, damage, or extra temporary health. Uh, it probably doesn't matter since it's the tutorial, I'll just pick damage. And uh, do I have any of this stuff? I do, right? I have 12, so I think I can upgrade something now. I want to upgrade... What happens if I upgrade the seedling? Oh, right, it's uh, stats just go up. Forgot. Use Lumi Dust to remove fatigue or eight to restore an exhausted card. 
Okay. Let's continue. These poor spirits. Maybe we can help them somehow? They keep attacking us and you still want to help them? You really are a kind sprout. I'm fighting a wild stalker that does a lot of extra damage when it's on purple. And it's hasted. Have at least five green at the end of battle. Okay. That should be easy with the seedlings since they make a lot of it. Try to cleanse the eclipse terrain as it makes the enemy stalkers much stronger. And I can heal. Yep, I knew that. So let's start with converting this to green. And summoning this here. And then I probably want to move this way and do this. Oh, whoa, that one could move a lot. Uh, so this will heal it quite a bit, right? I can heal you for two. And then attack this. Oh, I can't attack because I'm not facing it. That's kind of annoying. But that's fine. So attack that. And then I can place this here. Oh, I only have two mana left. Can I heal again? Okay, I can, so I can heal, and then I can place a unit. And hopefully that'll prevent it from dying, because only one unit will be able to hit it. Okay, I think that should be good. Oh, but it did extra damage there. Hmm... So I think if I place it here, I'll be able to hit both of those. Because they're all in my line of sight, right? Oh, but it only did one damage. That was, uh, oh, it only deals two damage, I see. Well, that's fine. I can move here and attack this unit. And then I can move here. And, oh, I messed up. Go back. Oh, that undoes the whole turn? Wait, no it doesn't. It just undid that action. Good. Do this. That's not ideal. Okay, so I can make a... How much damage can I do here? That'll kill you. So let's do that. And this person can move a bit, but they're not going to be able to reach this one. So I think I want to summon you here. Like this. And then summon this one here. And summon... Well, I'll heal myself. Oh, there's no one to heal, actually. I'll just convert another tile, because I want to make sure I have five by the end of battle. And it looks like when one of these dies... Yeah, when they die, they create a bunch of the purple terrain. I can't heal myself, right? Well, whatever. Okay. So let's take you out. Um, let's make sure that I have enough of this stuff. And then let's move you here and let's attack. Nice. Deal for damage. I got the spell I got rid of back. And uh don't think there's anything for me to do here. I could destroy some things, but I think everything I have is pretty useful. I just got a new skill. Be brave, Sprout. We're almost out of the blooming fields. Just one more guard and that's it. Will you leave me then? Of course not. I will guide you wherever your destiny leads. 
Collect as much Lumi dust as you can. Is there Lumi dust on the ground? There is. Collect Lumi crystals before enemies reach them to gain some precious Lumi dust, which can be spent on healing and upgrades. The enemy hero will will use only the highlighted skill during his turn. He's not an ordinary enemy. Try to remove his shield with your new skill and deal with the summoned spirits. Okay. Receives less damage. Removed after taking damage. Gains three shield. I see. So... Is this what they're going to do next turn? I think what I want to do is... Summon this unit here. No, so I'm in this unit here. Are they going to move there? Because ideally I'd like to prevent them from taking that. So let's try moving forward. And then some in this unit like this. So I should get that dust, right? Did I get it? I'm not sure. <laughs> do I have to stand there or just any of my units? Um... And then I'll do this. Although that one doesn't actually benefit from that ability. Okay, so there goes its shield. Oh no, now it got the shield. So what I could do is I can activate this ability just to pop the shield because it deals one damage. So there's the shield. And then I can place this unit here. And I can move this way just to gather those crystals. And I can create some green here. So they're going to summon an enemy now. Right in front of me. Uh, I can take that enemy out. Nice. And... Heal you for two. Well, let's put this green thing there. I'll move forward. The green there. Then that'll let me heal you. And I'll just place this unit here so you can't hit me. And I guess that's good. I'll just hit this one. Oh no, they're not in line of sight. And I can heal myself for one. Oh, they keep activating that ability. It's kind of annoying. I'll just pop the shield again. Um... So if I move this unit, it'll turn the enemy towards me. Which means this unit can move over here and attack it without getting counterattacked. Nice. Well, that was a pretty easy fight. You can now select the lady and her friends as your faction. Oh, there's multiple factions too. That's cool. There are two game modes, Journey and Relax. Journey mode allows you to unlock higher stuff. Relax mode is just for fun. Uh, let's do Journey mode. And I could play as... Oh, I see. There's like a second faction. Wait, so... What is this? Choose your guide. Oh, okay, so there's two things you pick. There's like your, your leader unit or whatever, which I'm missing one of. And those are all her skills. And then you pick your guide, which determines, like, I guess, what you can find, or maybe your secondary stuff. And I don't have any of the other ones, so I guess we're going to play with Aya. All right. So I think the map is going to be, yeah, it's going to be more like the, the one in all the other games that are similar to this. I can gain a card. There's an event. There's a new guide here, so I definitely want to get that. These are elites. These are where you heal. Okay, so I mean, we have to go this way if we want to get the new character. Uh, it's wise not to spend too much time fighting wild spirits, as the sound of battle could attract more of them. Feed all enemies. This is a timer one. 
Win before seven rounds. At the start of each battle, you can replace any... Oh, you can mulligan. That's nice. And you can also discard a single card. Uh, do I want to mulligan any of this? Does this block line of sight? Blocks the line of sight. And something might be hidden inside. I want this Lumi. So I think what I will do is... Discard one of these spells. I don't want two of them. Uh, and then I will... What does this do? Regal Lilies. Collect them to gain regeneration one and create the purple color. So if I step on those lilies, I turn them into the stuff that helps my enemies. Am I able to summon units that way? Nice. So I will probably do this. Oh, that's going to power this guy up, though. I don't want to do that. So let's place this one instead. And I have one mana, so I can attack you. All right, this one healed. Oh, they can step on those flowers. That's annoying. Hmm. Well, that kind of changes things if that's the case. Let's, uh... Let's heal you. Mm, but if I heal you, you're still going to die to that guy. So... Wild Shapers. I mean, what I could do is I could just attack this one. And then I can... What is this? A Wild Niblet? Let's get rid of that. And then I can summon this unit here, like that, and that buffs him a bit, and then I can heal it. Oh, uh, I should have done that before I moved. Oh, let's go back a bit. Oh, it's too late. Oh, you can only undo one action. Well, that's fine. Let's just uh, take this guy out then. And summon this guy uh here i guess hmm i'm not really sure what's inside of these i'd like to find out but there's gonna be a bunch of enemies spawning so let's just start by placing you here and uh Turn this screen. Nice. So this thing is going to turn into a niblet. I can just take this guy out with my spell. Hmm. I can also just place this here. Let you destroy this. What is that? Wild Orbling? Oh, that's not good. It's not my unit. <laughs> I didn't know it would summon an enemy. Well, that's fine. This guy can take that one out. Oh, I wait. Can't move after attacking? Yeah, I just want to attack, though. So let's face this way and then destroy you. And I guess that's all I'm going to do. This unit's going to die, though. Oh, that was a really bad turn. Okay, so... What can we do here? Take this. We can move here. Face this way. Take this one out. Summon this here. And then that guy will step on it. So 
Let's do this. Let's take this guy out with this. And then move here to get this regen. And then summon this guy here to do this. Do I need to defeat the enemy in here? I'm not really sure. I guess I should uh, do it just in case, though. Hmm. This. Okay, that was pretty good. This card has been used once and is now unstable. So if I use a card twice in a battle, it disappears for the rest of the round. That's good to know. So there's this person. It's going to spawn with a lot of health. But I can move here to block them from spawning there. And then I can have you take out this one. And that'll leave one of the little ones, which I can just take out. And I can attack you. Um, and just summon this one here. That. And uh, heal you. And I guess I'll just do this, because I have so much uh, mana left. That's the last enemy. They will activate Silent Fog. Defeat the enemies. Oh, I see. This is going to start dealing damage to me every turn. So, let's deal damage to you. I need to get Line of Sight on you, though. Which I don't think I can. That is not good. Hmm. I think I might be able to finish them off if I do this. No, I'm not. So, what I should do instead is move with you and attack, and this one will die. Then I can move here and finish them off. Okay. Nice. Victory. What do I want? This is a healing spell. Exposure. It makes them take more damage. And it lets you use the green stuff around you. That's pretty cool. Or I can make a shaper. It summons a niblet when I cast a spell if there's green in front of it. So this is like to make a token deck. This is to hit one enemy very hard. And this heals. Uh, I feel like I have enough units for now, so I probably want to take the spell. So this precious valley, once full of life and joy, now lies before you impassable and filled with erupting hideous growths. Cleanse it with cultivation. I get an upgraded spell. Receive two Lumi Globes. So that's pretty good. Or run through. I don't think I need... A spore infestation. You inflict weakness one on yourself and adjacent units when attacked. Deal less damage with attacks, but not less than one. So this makes it so things can't keep hitting me over and over. That's interesting. I mean, I don't really want to rely on my hero character to deal damage, so I think this is fine. Uh, there's no time for cleaning duties, although after running through the valley, there are many enfeebling spores clinging to your body. Oh, it also affects my units, though, so I need to be careful. Alright. Uh, fight an easy battle to gain a Wisp or a Lumi Globe. Even before the Eclipse, some more malicious spitters like to practice shooting to moving targets. So don't let any enemy make a ranged attack. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, these all are able to shoot everywhere, though, so... I need to block the line of sight of units to avoid a ranged attack, right? 
So, I think this hand is fine. If I don't want an enemy to make a ranged attack, that means I can't be directly across from anything, right? So if I move here, these two can hit me. If I move here, this one can hit me. If I move here, this one can still hit me. Here, this one hits me, and so does that one, and this one. Here, it's just these two. Here, it's these, this one, and this, it's just these two. Okay, so I need to move here. Yeah, the only way to not get hit is if I place a, move here and place a unit here. So, let's move here. And attack this unit. And place this unit here. And then place green on it so that it survives their attacks. Nice. That's pretty good. Why is this one weakened? Oh, right. It's because I have that ability. I don't know why that one died. <laughs> it just like poofed itself. So, uh, this one has to move or they'll get hit, and then I have to move as well, otherwise I'll get hit. So, move this one here. And, uh, how am I going to want to do this? I want to move you here. I probably want to, I don't want to attack because then I can't move. So, let's move here. And zap you with this. And then move here. Oh. Why'd they die? I'm not sure why that one died there, but that's okay. Um, what I can do is summon another unit. Did I attack already? I can attack. And that'll let me take it out with this if I need to next turn. But I think I need to place something over here, otherwise... Oh, no, I can't. I can place something here, though. And, uh... I guess do this. Yeah, so now this one needs to be taken out. And this one needs to move. Is there any way to do that? So I can move here to be... I can move here and face this way to take this one out. And then I can take this one out by moving here. Oh no, that was wrong. Uh, undo. So I can move here like this. Take this one out with that. And then take this one out with my spell. Nice. That was pretty cool. I like that they have these secondary challenges for you to do where it's not just like, uh, you know, deal, like kill the enemy kill more enemies or like take some extra damage or whatever they actually like affect the way you play the level which is pretty cool uh this one do more damage with attacks receive strength increased by one so this is like an upgrade i guess watchful wisp has extended frontal arc that's cool uh used to upgrade a skill or spell so i think i want the extended frontal arc I feel like that's what usually is getting me right now, is I'm taking damage by accident. And I can make it so that the... I feel like I never play this unit because they're just so expensive. Um... 
I like it with this because then more green will be created when I summon this unit. Due to its awake ability. Okay, so now we get the new character. This Elder Spirit seems to be close to succumbing to the Eclipse. Maybe it's not yet too late to save him. This, the Elder Spirit, visibly shaken, is standing in the middle of the Eclipse terrain. The voice is gone. My mind is waning. Is this really the end? Not on our watch. Stay away, spirits. It is too late. No way. Just let us help. Old but gold. I just have to heal him. Heal and you to full health. Okay, so he heals if there's green stuff around him. And he buffs enemies. That's pretty scary. Oh, wow. Hmm, so... If he's gonna buff enemies, I need to make sure there's no enemies around when I heal him, right? Does this count as a green tile? I don't think it does. Maybe it does. Yeah, it does, because uh, it's going to deal four. That makes sense. So what can I do here? I can do this. And then I can poke you. And that should kill you, right? Wait, not line of sight. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. So I want to face this way. I want to attack you. And I want to poke you. Nice. So now I can heal you and there won't be like a super strong unit. Um, and it looks like he drains all of the green in the area every turn. So let's do this. Wow, that's a lot. Well, hold on, hold on. If I do this now, I don't know what order. It says end of turn, right? And when does this happen? Does this happen at the start of their turn? That's kind of concerning. So let's let's just do this for now. And uh can move here. Can I heal you? We can test this by doing this. So this is just to see what happens there. Okay, so it consumes it first, then summons. That's fine. So what I want to do is... Um, I want to create green here. And then take this unit out. And then heal you. And that gives me enough to do this. And, uh, yeah, that's good. So now that got summoned, and I can place her here. She'll deal with that one. And next I can just create another green spot. Yeah, and then placing her here every time something gets spawned, I can just take it out. Um, what I would like to do is make it so that you don't die. So... Alternatively, I can also place her here. <clears throat> so now she can hit that space as well, and this adjacent space. I can go, I can 
place this here. Heal you after you attack. Oh, why did this one die? Oh, I lost plus one, plus one on that space. I see. <clears throat> Turn all of these green. Uh, I want to move this one next turn to force enemies to spawn here so that the long range unit can attack them. And I guess I'll just summon you as well here. And uh, that'll be it. I need to heal you up to 20. So... Okay, I think what I want to do is move you up here. Move you over here. I wanna... No, it doesn't really matter. We'll put you here. Attack. And then move you here. Just grant a heal. I think I've won this pretty much. Like, I don't see how I would lose at this point. And yeah, there's not really anything left to do here. I just need to keep making this green stuff every turn. I can discard things, right? So now what I want is for her to take out the distant units. <clears throat> and uh, I'll just move this person this way, this one this way. Oh no, but I needed a unit there, so I'll move up. This is here. Anyone need healing? Nope. How many more turns? This is gonna take a while. <laughs> so take you out. Heal you. Move you here. Move you here. And I think that should work now. What happens if I put this unit here? Uh, well, I definitely want to block this one off. Okay. So... Just keep doing this. here. Create some green. Have you attack this one. And in my turn. <clears throat> um, I went in like one or two turns, so I think it's fine for that to happen. And one more turn, and it should be over. Nice. I haven't felt this good in Oak knows how long. Will you let me come along, youngsters? Nice. So now I have this person. Prevents enemies in its frontal arc from moving away and attacking. Awake creates green under nearby units and restores three health to nearby allies. Oh, that's pretty good. And then... Whenever they heal, they also gain strength. It's like a healing synergy guy. I should probably use some of this stuff, huh? I can increase a unit's level. Okay, let's increase the level of this super seedling. That'll make it a 5-3. Is that really necessary though? I feel like these guys benefit the most from damage. And what does upgrading you do? Nothing. Can I spend this for other stuff? Is there like a store where I can spend it in? Um, sure, wisps. I didn't see a store. Yeah, I think it's safe to spend it. So let's upgrade you again. If I say this is the number of times I can upgrade them. Makes sense. So this warden is so far gone that even if the voice came back somehow, it would never be able to hear it. Scary. Coins the eclipse terrain. Fertile soil, all units have growth. 
Wild Orbling. Voiceless. It inflicts fatigue. Okay. I don't think I've seen Equip Strain yet. Or is that what this purple stuff is? Select cards to draw. I mean, if I want to cleanse stuff, this unit is obviously the best one. And this one is okay. Uh, I'll keep this, because I can deal quite a lot of damage to him with that. Lumi Crystals. Wait, what? Oh, the Lumi Crystals are there, but what is this? Wood Gall. If you damage it, it does something. I see. I'm not sure why I would ever attack this then. Maybe I can get enemies to attack it somehow? Uh, anyways, let's start by... Oh, right, I need to pick what to discard. Uh, I think I want to keep all of this. I don't really have a very big deck right now, so... Summon you here. It's gonna deal five damage. Hmm. What if I just start with this? No, it's kind of a waste. Well, this one's okay, because this one don't... Uh, it's only losing one spot. The problem is if I put it there, I just can't hit anything. So let's move this way. And summon this one here. And then convert this space. So... This is going to summon something. Wild Orb Link. Lex Place. Let's move forward. And... Place this one here. Oh, but then he's going to take it out. I don't want to... Well, he's going to take out any of my units in one hit. So I think it's fine to just place this here. Uh, and then... I can move you forward. I need something to take this out too. So what if I... this. Force it to spawn here. Just end my turn. Okay. So... I, mean, I can finish you off pretty easily with this spell, right? So I move here. And then I finish you off with this spell. And move forward here. Well, I guess this one should probably fight this so it doesn't die. <clears throat> and then move you here. Convert this one. And then heal. Okay. <clears throat> so now what I want to do is move you here, heal you for two. Oh, well, that won't really matter because it's going to die anyways. It's going to create a bunch of purple terrain when it dies, which is annoying. What I could do is... If I place you there, it's going to deal one damage to each of them. Why only one damage? I thought it would deal two damage. But it increases with distance. I can place her here. I can also place her here, and then she has line of sight over both of those. That's pretty good. Let's do that. That's fine. 
Put this tile here. Move forward. Take you out. And you can move this way. That went away. So now what I want to do is just convert these. Well, it's going to spawn them pretty far. I don't really want that. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. And then move you here. And I guess summon something here. Probably want to do this. And I guess I'm in here. And that'll be it. Okay, so you can take this one out. This can go away. And then... This one, I would like to be able to take that one out. So what happens if I move here? Can I hit that one? Perfect. And then move you back in here. I uh, can't reach that space, but I can send you back down there. And that should be good. I should have healed you first, huh? Let me heal you. And I guess I'll just convert that one. Okay, so there's that enemy. Let's take you out. And then that makes it so that I can easily move here. Convert it. Well, I already created 50 of them. <laughs> Quite a lot. Heal you, and there's nothing else to do with that, and I guess I'll just end my turn, I'll just discard one of these. So you can take this one out, oh that dealt damage, move you here, and Create grass there. Will it win before this happens? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if it would trigger its ability and make it so that it turned purple there. Also, my character has levels, I just noticed. Uh, can shoot any enemy in its line of sight. Okay, so this is like a cheaper version of my leader unit. Amplify, give yourself or a nearby unit strength 3. Consume a nearby green to deal 4 damage to the occupant. That's interesting. I can combo that with my other spell or ability to do a lot of damage. Uh, I feel like having more units is good though. Especially the ranged units because I, I don't have that many. Unless I want to fatigue things. So, wild bulblets corrupt the ground they are dug into instead of cleansing it. That's not good. Dig up all wild, buried wild bulblets. They give nearby allies plus one plus one and create purple under themselves. Oh, that's annoying. So they're like a, a, like a unit you send in to die to add buffs to your surrounding units. Okay. So let's upgrade some units. Upgrade you, and that would give you more damage. I don't really feel like you need damage, though. I feel like you need health. So this is good, because this person gains health. <laughs> and you gain... Well, I could get rid of some fatigue. Uh, I mean, it only survives one hit anyways, so it's probably okay. It's probably better for me to just upgrade this ranged unit. All right. Uh, what does this do? 
Oh, this is the Bull Blitz. So if I attack it, it gets unburied, presumably. And then this lets me get hastened. And use Bull Blitz. It's going to buff things. This is going to attack me. Um, so I need to move away for now. I think what I want to do is to keep this. Get rid of you. Keep the spell. I think what I want to do is move this way. And then summon you here. So now it can attack everything. Yeah, you'll take some damage, which is fine. I will finish you off. this. I will move here and attack you. Wait, that buffed that one. Uh, I thought surrounding just meant like in front of it, but it seems to have meant something else there. So I can... Hmm... Summon you here, and then create this ground underneath you. Okay, pretty happy with that. And then this one can finish you off. And then you can come over here and finish that one off. Then can... Can I not poke that? How do I unbury this? Oh, I have to be facing it, probably. Project. I have to finish it off, so I'd have to attack it, poke it, and then I can... Hmm... I think I can just finish it off with this spell. I feel like I don't use my spells very often. And then buff you. So. I can... They're gonna summon things here. So what I can do is... Move her here. In anticipation. Have you finished that one off? Oh, whoops. That was a mistake there. But I can just finish you off with this. And I can place a... Uh, one of these things here. So now it's going to force enemies to spawn there. And I can send this thing to support over here to dig that thing up. And I still have a little bit of, of this, so... I guess I will just do that. It doesn't look like you can carry mana over between turns. It also goes up very quickly. Like, I'm already at 7, which is pretty great. So... I want you to finish that one off. So I will finish... Well, you can actually just attack this and it won't fight back. So let's do that. And, uh... We'll just poke you. And then have her finish that guy off. Have this one go here and open it. And have you finish it off. And you can do nothing there. I guess I'll just place this here. And you can finish that one off. Got him. Um, so, you can move here. Finish this one off. Yeah, I mean, I have them, like, surrounded at this point, so they're just getting wiped out. 
without being able to fight back. Have you faced that way? I can go here and heal you. And you can go here. And that's it. I'll just place a, another green tile, I guess. <clears throat> oh, did someone die there? I was not paying attention, but the ranged units can finish them off. I got some more of those things. Alright, an elder seedling. It's just like a better version of the one I have. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, shift, jump to a nearby hex and regain two health. That seems pretty good. I feel like I want this. I feel like I have enough units for now. And I want to upgrade... That'll increase your health, which is pretty valuable. It looks like the second upgrade is always health. Let's get that. What is this? Oh, you can see their models. That's pretty cool. This one's kind of like a little mermaid, but it's a plant. <laughs> this one's literally just an acorn. This is like a... Kind of like a cat crossed with like a squirrel. And she's just like a person. A hard battle to gain a trinket. I feel like that's what I want. Since outcasts can rely, rarely rely on any spirit other than themselves, they treat proven allies with high regard. Defeat all enemies. Defeat all enemies during a single turn. So... I have to weaken them and finish them both off at once if I want this extra objective. And awakens other allies, doubles their attack and health. Oh my god. And gives them mobility. That's scary. So this one is sleeping right now for two turns. If I hit him, will he wake up? Uh, I don't no, it's not clear. So I want to keep these for sure. I don't think I need two of these. I'll get rid of you. And I'll get rid of this for now. I feel like what I want to do is to just like wail on them for now. So let's do this. And that'll let me start hitting both of them with ranged attacks. Okay. So let's weaken this one because it's sleeping. That won't wake it up, will it? Oh, wait, this one can push things. I did not realize. But I think I destroyed the uh, the extra resource there, but that's okay. So now what I want to do is place you here. Yeah, place you here. And then place you here. That's fine. So now you will attack this one again. Okay. And now this one is sleeping. They take turns sleeping? Let's um, create a green tile for you, and then attack this. Okay, so they're both pretty weak now. I think what I can probably do is this here. So this one's going to come and attack me. And then I can weaken both of these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can finish them off next turn. So this one's going to finish this off. So I want to get this one as low HP as possible. How much will this do? Four damage. So let's move this way. Do this to deal four damage. Do this to bring them down to one. 
and then finish this one off. That'll give this one a little bit of extra HP. And, uh, I guess I can just finish it off. Yep. Okay, I didn't realize they were going to sleep. I was actually a little afraid I would lose there because they were so strong. But them having a nap every other turn really made it easy. Allies become hastened when they outsmart an enemy. Outsmart is when you hit them from their weak points, yeah. Uh, allies create green when summoned, ignoring restrictions on sum of summoning onto purple. Allies deal additional damage when they outsmart the enemy. Interesting. So this makes it so that if I... Oh, I bumped my head there on the mic. <laughs> This makes it so that if I hit something, I can run away, which is pretty cool. Uh, this makes it so that I can just summon things more easily, and it creates more green for me. And this makes it so that I just hit things harder if I backstab them. Uh, I feel like I want this. Well, I don't know. These are all okay. I guess I'll take the extra damage. It's always good to deal extra damage, right? And this is the boss. On the verge of the Oak's Crown resides a Dusker that claimed the largest part of the territory for itself. This not may not be the place the Pathfinder was talking about. Defeat the enemy hero, have at least 12 green at the end of battle. Uh, creates so green whenever I move, and enemies are stronger on purple. Hello, Mr. Pathfinder, Mr. Pathfinder. He's not here. Maybe this is not the Broken Ridge after all. I think we've got an even bigger problem than your non-existent sense of direction. Look up. That is the fattest Dusker I've ever seen. What can it do? So, it's got a lot of HP. It flies away and deals damage in an AoE around it. And it summons enemies. That's a pretty crazy ability. And then it summons enemies. So I want to spread my stuff out. Um, whoa, look at this thing. It's so big. Hmm. This game is pretty great so far. Okay, I don't want so many spells. I do want this, because this will let me run away. I don't think I need these impales. Oh, yes. I definitely like starting with a ranged unit. But it's gonna, is it gonna crush now? It's gonna cast crush soon. So maybe I shouldn't start with the ranged unit. Maybe I should start with this here. Just grab that money. And move forward, move away, I think. And then just reconvert this to a green space. It's terrifying. Okay, so now it's going to do the jump attack. And this is what I wanted is to be kind of surrounding this so that I can flank it. So now I can finish it off. Ugh, the fact that it deals damage is very annoying. Move this one over here. Attack you. And summon you here. Create a green space, and then heal myself. Okay, so after it jumps, I'll summon the ranged unit. This graphic indicates that something bad will happen here soon. Better prepare for the... Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if there'd be a, an indicator. But this is great. I can place you now. And I can summon... I can move this one into position... And move here. Summon you here. Okay, so hopefully this will let me flank whatever enemies this thing summons. Oh, it deals damage to adjacent units. That's annoying. So this is fine. Just take you out. It won't kill me, which is good. Um, 
You know, I don't think I should have done that. I think what I should have done is move you here. Finish this one off. And then use this ability to finish this one off. And then start wailing on this one with ranged attacks. I can do this to you. Right? How much extra whatever is this going to inflict? Seven? That's pretty good. Oh, wow. That is a lot. So now I can go here, deal 11 damage. Okay. And then I think I want to move here so that way, hopefully it moves down so that this ranged unit can hit it. And I will, uh, well, I need to have at least 12 green. I was not paying attention to that. That's definitely not going to happen anymore. Okay, so it's weakened itself. Um, summoned one of these annoying things. I can finish that one off with this. Oh, but I want to summon my my ranged unit, so I can do this. Yeah, so that was good. Finish that off. Move you here and attack this. Uh, I can create another one of these. I can poke you. Move you here. Attack. And attack. Oh, it's so close to being finished off. You know, I probably could have done that a little... Wait, that, oh, it's on the green square and it took one damage. Okay, nice. And I got the bonus. So, some of your cards became exhausted. You will recover them when you enter a refuge or beat the chapter's boss. You can also choose to restore them earlier using some Lumi. I mean, they should be unexhausted because I just won, right? So, here's my reward. Every time the first green is created... You gain strength and shield. That's pretty good. So this is like if I want to start attacking things. Otherwise I can get this, which is like the... Whoa, this thing hits in an AoE. That's so strong. What does this do? Rush. Can attack the turn it's summoned. Oh, That's very good. And it adds damage too. Like I feel like this is good, but it's expensive. But this just makes one of my units like crazy strong. Oh, but this AoE damage though. But doesn't that mean it'll die? Like will everything counterattack or will only the thing that I'm targeting? It also hits allies, so that actually makes it quite a bit harder. I can put this in front of my ranged units though, and that's pretty powerful. Hmm. I think I want to get another unit. I feel like I'm a little low on units compared to spells now. And then I guess this is the reward I get for finishing the extra objective. You have drained during your turn. So I heal when I attack. I have mobility, which lets me become hastened upon being summoned and at the end of its turn. So I gain to move twice. That's pretty good. And this makes me a ranged unit. Okay, that just seems super strong. I'm going to take that. All right, next round. Is there any new tiles? Nope. Okay, I do want to fight elites. I feel like that's just always a good option when you play games. So let's go this way. And we can go this way. We can go here or here, depending on whether we want to heal or whatever. Uh, and I guess I should upgrade stuff. So if I upgrade this, this will do more damage, which seems insane. This will give her more damage as well. So I want to upgrade this Warden. I feel like he's going to hard carry me. Five damage. Let's upgrade this one too. All right. So off we go. 
Crawlers may seem steadfast, but they actually give up easily if they encounter trouble while digging up. Defeat or block all enemies when before round 10. Unearthing spirits. So enemies are going to crawl up from the ground. And this pushes enemies when they die. And that seems pretty straightforward. What's this do? Lumi crystal cluster. Creates lumi crystals when it dies. Okay, well I definitely want that. Uh, let's place a range unit there. We'll keep this. I think I don't need this for now. What is this? Oh, that's where it'll... It's gonna pop up. Okay. And I got the same thing. <laughs> so we'll just move away. I'm a ranged unit now, so... It's like, why not, you know? What? Can I not attack? Oh, right, I can't move if I'm attacking. I forgot. So it doesn't make me that strong. But I can start just by placing this one here. Take you out. Um, <clears throat> I think I want to be here. And then I want to place you here. And summon this here and I guess I'll just start poking you so let's see well, that being there is not great but so this one can attack the lumi crystal oh, it just creates it in that spot and then I can poke you. Uh, do I want to just attack you? It's just two damage. It's just one damage, and I take three damage. So yeah, I think I just want to poke you to finish you off. But first I'll attack. Then I'll poke you. That'll push me this way. And then I can... Uh, move you this way. Finish this off. Heal you. Give you this. And then summon this thing to help out here. Nice. I need to win before round 10 starts, but there's a lot of enemies spawning. So I'm not really sure what I can do about that. So, deal three damage. I'm gonna poke ya. Oh, but I want to move you first. Move you this way. Give you a little poke. I think I want to move you over here. I'll take this unit out. This one can be spawned here. And then this one will just take that one out. That seems good. Okay, so this one... Oh, can I not attack it? Oh, this thing blocks line of sight? <laughs> That's funny. Um, whatever, I'll just move this way. Wait, why can't this attack? Oh, I guess it has range. I thought it didn't. I thought it had a limited range, but I'm wrong. So this one. Well, let's undo that then. If you move here, I need to move away so it doesn't kill me. Finish it off. If you need to move this way. You can move. Well, can heal you. Give you regeneration. Have you move up here? No. Have you move? Well, this one's gonna have to move down, right? So, I can just place this one here. Hmm.
I think I want to place this here, actually. No, that's not really hitting that many spaces, though. It's gonna let me... Well, it'll let me take that unit out. But this one has to move anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna place you here. So... I want to see that how this works. Yeah, so that will let me finish this off, but then I take damage. Uh, so let's do this. Have you finished this one off? Have you heal this one? You can move this way. Oh, but if I do that, I take damage, right? Yeah. How to do this? I think I just want to move this way. Have you finished this one off? This one will take damage, but that's okay. And then summon one of these. Have you move here to fight that one. And I think that should be good. So let's heal you. I'm gonna move you this way. Move you this way. Have you attack this? Have you attack that? First have you move here. And uh let's give you this. That's pretty much it. Can I move any other units? Move you here. Oh, there's going to be a big group of them there. So, have you... Oh, I can't do that one. Can you attack that one? No. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to do that, because then you're going to die. Jump to a nearby hex. So I can jump here and face this way. Use this spell on you. And then heal you. Uh, this guy is going to want to deal a bunch of damage to these guys. So let's have you move this way. Have you move this way to take this one out. Uh, and then I guess you just take this out. That's everything. So now I can take this one out. You can take that one out. And you can get in position to defeat these guys. And why not? We'll just summon this here for the sake of it. I don't think there's anything left to do at that point. Alright, because this guy is going to move here. And just finish both of them off. Oh, let's <laughs> move out of the way a little. Wait, how am I supposed to... Oh, I needed to stand on top of those. Okay, I did feel like I got cheated there a little, but that's okay. I needed to be standing on top of the spaces so they don't spawn. Oh, this creates two green. This heals when it slays something. That's pretty good. And... Uh... What does this do? Spitter. Attack, gain strength and shield, and it's a shooter. Uh, I think I'd rather get the Stalker. I feel like healing when it kills things is pretty valuable. So, listen, I know my way in the caves, and this surely is a shortcut. Seems about right. After taking a few wrong turns, you are stuck in a pitch black cave. Leave through a lurker nest. You inflict degeneration when dealing damage with attacks. So I poison things. 
Uh, follow the next creature you see. Receive a spirit. Follow the dimly lit path, and that gives me Lumi Dust. What happens if I were to pick a random place? I can only go straight, so that doesn't really matter. So I think I want to take the buff. So now I deal poison damage. Um, defeat, protect the warden. Is there like a weak warden or something? Is it this one? Yes, yeah, this one. So I just got to keep this guy alive. Um, let's start with this is a defender. This is a lurker. And what are these leaves? Step on them to become a mobile. Okay. I mean, I can summon this. Oh, this is to re-roll. Uh, I feel like these little seedlings are not that great. Because I can just create green with my power. I'll keep the four damage one. No, uh, yeah, I'll keep the four damage one. I'll get rid of the three damage one. Uh, so I think what I want to do is place this one here. And then give him some juice. And then I want to face this way so I can hit this enemy when it moves forward. Okay. Uh, well, that was not how I was expecting you to move, but that's okay. I can... Do this, move here. Finish you off. And then... This is not my unit. I can place you here, maybe? I can do this. And then heal you? What is this thing? A moth? It inflicts poison. So a lot of units are going to inflict poison. So this one's going to die from the poison. Uh, do that. Oh, it didn't die. So let's do this. Let's have you go here and attack it from behind so it dies. Then I can heal you. Then I can do... What is line of sight again? It's like... The three tiles in front of me. So if I face this way... I have pretty good line of sight there. Right? Now I can attack all of this. And I can place a, another jaguar to prevent it from summoning it there. That's pretty good. Well, that guy has 8 health. Okay, this one's dead. Because it spawned facing the wrong way. And I can attack you for 2. <clears throat> and you're poisoned now, I think? Yeah, you're taking 2 damage per turn. I can hit you with this and you'll just die. I don't even need you there, because that guy's going to die on his own. And I can do this. And heal. Nice. Uh, right, another moth and another warden. So let's move you here again. And I want to put this one here. So that I can attack that as well. Um, what else should I do here? I think just, I guess keep making that one stronger and then I can self heal. I'm pretty sure these guys can't do anything anymore because I can just take them out right away by attacking them. Yeah. Oh, this one's dying to poison now. I should probably go heal it adjacent units right so um 
Well, it's fine if that one dies. I'll just place this ward in. You're poisoned. And then I'll poke you. And now you're dead. I can move you here so that you can actually hit that space and move you back here. Do this. Summon another one of these. Yeah, that guy's just gonna die. And this is all that's left, so. Hit you. Poke ya. And then hit you with the vine. Easy. Uh, hasting yourself and a nearby ally. That's pretty good. Trailer activates the ability when summoned. It weakens enemies in its line of sight. This seems like it could be good. I'm not really a fan of these seedlings. I feel like I don't really have enough synergy with the green spaces to make it worth it. Um, the thing I don't know about Hastened is whether it lets you attack... But it looks like it doesn't. It looks like this is meant to take into account the fact that you can haste yourself. So let's take this. I like the idea of weakening things. Oh, what the heck? It teleported me. I didn't know it would do that. <laughs> it's funny. I thought it would just like pick this space here because there's no other option. That's okay. Heal some fatigue. How many units do I have that are fatigued? Just me. I think I want to spend some Lumi Dust. Oh, this is expensive. Push yourself in the chosen direction until they collide. Elder Daughter. Refreshes its attack. Oh my god. That's super strong. Boost. Replenish. Lumi Globe. Well, I can't afford any of these. I didn't realize they were so pricey. But I can get rid of something. Like, I can get rid of these seedlings since I don't really find them that useful. Does that give me enough to uh, buy something now? I would like three more so I can get this Elder Daughter. What if I get rid of one of these Impales? Nice. Yeah, that seems very strong. One with the roots. Cannot change its position or rotation. Oh, I can't Grasping Roots them. Don't destroy any weakened roots. Defeat the enemy hero. Okay. Overgrown Picker. Immobile Anger deals one damage to nearby enemies. There's like a Thorns enemy who can't move. I mean, my units are all ranged units, so I feel like this is not going to end well for you. Inflicts Weakness. Oh, anger. What does Anger do when you hit them? As... Reduce max health. This is actually... These secondary units are honestly a little scarier than, than the primary units. I think what I want to do is keep the trailer, keep the impale, and get rid of this warden. And I can't destroy any of these weakened roots or I lose the bonus objective. So... Let's attack you for three. I mean, yeah, you're going to die pretty fast because I'm, I'm, like, poisoning you. <laughs> this guy can't move. He's just going to die. And then I'll place you here. And uh, put a green square here in anticipation of attacking this guy. Like, do I even care if this happens? I don't care if I'm immobile. So... I'm gonna summon you, and that's gonna weaken both of these enemies so they don't do much damage. And then I'm gonna hit you again. So you're taking even more poison damage. I'm gonna move here... and attack. Oh, right, this one does, like, uh, thorns damage. That's very annoying. Oh, that one died. That's okay. I just wanted it for the weekend so that this unit didn't die. So I'm going to hit you again. 
Wait, that does two damage to me. I see. I hit my own units if I shoot through them, I guess. So let's move you here. Uh, let's heal you for two. Let's put this here. Attack. Attack you. And I guess I'll just place this here in anticipation of this enemy spawning. And I'll poke you. Oh, there's also Lumi Crystals up here, but like, do I even care? Summon this one here. Hmm. Oh, there's a Lumi Crystal behind me too. Let's get that. And then let's attack you. But yeah, this guy's gonna take five damage. He's dead in two turns. He's already dead. I'll place you here. Oh wait, I did I mess up? Oh okay, thank god I can't reach that far. I was like, oopsie. I think I just, just did the thing I wasn't supposed to do. There's that. And yeah, you're dead. Like this is over already. Yeah, this one was really easy with a ranged unit. Like, uh, I guess normally you don't have a ranged unit on turn one, right? So you gain strength if you have any Lumi left at the end of your turn. Uh, why would I not have Lumi left? Does it consume my Lumi? Allies gain regeneration too when summoned. That's pretty good. Weakness and exposure received by enemies is increased by one. Uh, I think I got rid of... No, I still have Decompose, and I have the Weakness creature... That seems pretty good, but I think I like the idea of having extra strength if I have Lumi. But this makes my allies survive longer. I, I like the regeneration. Let's go there. Baby lurkers don't have it easy as they are the most available prey for the predators of the hollows. That's sad. Protect all hatchlings. Spirits are digging up the ground. Okay. Wild pest. Start of turn, inflicts exposure, so this thing deals more damage if you stop in front of it. And this thing pushes stuff away. And I just have to protect the babies. The babies. Where are the babies? Are these the babies? Yes. Are they enemies? They better not attack me. Okay, so this is in the way of this guy, which is good. Uh, what I could do is... I can just teleport myself here. Oh no, this is to redraw. Let's not do that. I don't need three of these guys, so let's get rid of you. Nice. So I can put this one here. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh... What do I want to do here? This is so strong. It's kind of scary. I'll put this here. It only costs three? Are you serious? How is it so strong? And I guess I'll just hit this. I kind of like leaving you trapped there, though. I think I'm just going to leave you there, bro. So... Yeah, this one's stuck. What a weird place to end up. That must have been an accident, right? I think what I want to do is be here, maybe? No, 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 this is fine. This being here is kind of annoying, though. But I can take it out, actually. So I want to put this here so that it can't get to the, the baby. And then give you some extra damage. And I guess... That's it. I feel like that was not a wise choice for you. We're gonna do this. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Uh, let's 
do this. Oh, I screwed that up. Undo. I need to poke it first. Poke it first so that you can finish it off. You need to not be there. So that means I need to be over here. So you can do this. Oh, I actually have like a lot of debuffs on me now. This is gonna deal four damage to me. Oof. Okay. And I want to... I think I just put this one here. Like blocking this space seems pretty good because then I don't have to worry about that. And then I can put you here. Uh, I can do that next turn, right? I'll just buff you and heal you so that next turn you can do stuff. So that's fine, take some damage. And now what I want is for you to finish that one off. And I guess I'll just finish this off. This one's like trapped there, which is fine. Deal two damage to you. This one can destroy this. You can move here and attack this guy. I'll poke you. And then you can finish this one off. And this one will die, but I can put the ward in here. And hopefully have the warden finish off whatever comes out of there. So you get hit by that. You get poked. You are going to finish this person off. You're going to hit that. Oh, I think I messed up. Uh, but I can uh, do this, and it'll finish both of them. Oh no, that's gonna kill the the little one. Pushes all adjacent units away. How do I deal with that? Uh, I needed to block it or something. That's pretty lame. What if I? Hmm, I think I lost it. Yeah. Oh well. I mean, you can't really do anything about it, right? I'll just finish both of these off and I lose the hatchling. Dang, so lame. Not the hatchlings. Everyone's at full health. I'll just make a green tile there. I have ranged units everywhere, so you can finish this one off. this off. There's going to be an enemy spawning there. We'll just block it off. And I'll teleport up here because it's the last turn. Oh, there's one enemy left actually. Killed my own guy with the AoE. Forgot about that. Alright. Gain strength one. So this is an upgrade for something, right? Caustic Wisp. Deals one damage to enemies in its frontal arc. Creates a niblet. Aggressive Wisp. Um... So this gives them more damage. This gives them more health, I guess. 
I like this, making something tankier and making it so that it summons another unit when it dies. We can give that to... This guy. I can also give it to him and then he has even more HP. That seems fine. And I can actually upgrade some stuff too. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade you, because you're just, like, insanely OP. Okay. Uh, I can take on an elite. I'm fighting a big moth that has anger, that poisons. I need to not destroy any cleansing shrooms. What do the cleansing shrooms do? What is this? Summon a wild lurker. Ugh. What are the wild lurkers again? Poison spit. It poisons everyone. Wow, so that's pretty strong. Um, these are the cleansing mushrooms. Oh, this gets rid of poison. What is a carving of might? So this is like a super buff. But if I can do it without the buff, then I gain a bonus. Mm. Okay, so let's get rid of these seedling guys because they're kind of useless. Get rid of the impale. Get rid of this. No, I'll keep the elder stalker. This unit, I don't, is this going to summon unit? Yeah, this is going to summon enemies. Okay. So I think I want to open with this. And hopefully that'll make it move one space over. And then I will move here. So now it's going to take damage from us regardless of what it does. What's this thing do? Deals poison damage. Okay, so let's hit you for f six. That's pretty good. What about this? He'll hit you for two. Um, I think what I want to do here is move backwards. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to hit you. And I think I need to move here. I need to move here. Place you here. And place you here to block off them from approaching. <clears throat> I'm just gonna summon another wild lurker. Uh, I can't hit that. I can't hit that one. So I take you out. That deals two damage to me. Then I can heal you to prevent that from happening. Heal you. And then... How far am I able to move? A decent distance. I can move here and take you out. Uh, I think what I want to do though is summon this here. And then teleport here. Does this need line of sight? Yeah, it does. So I can teleport here, here, to deal with you. Okay. Oh god, the double poison, or the poison to everything. That's pretty strong. But six damage here. Poisoning everything? I might die. <laughs> might have screwed up. What if I place you here? I need to run because I'm going to die. And I need to move you here. Here. 
you here to block this unit, you here to block that unit. Um, and then I think I need to heal myself so that I can survive more than two turns. But oh, that also reduced the poison. That's nice. Will that reduce the poison to you? They're going to die at the end of the turn, right? So this is actually going to summon... Can I just poke you? Oh, that was not good. Let's do this. Yeah, they're going to... Oh my god, everything died. Hmm. I am in trouble. But the nice thing is, this thing is pretty powerful. Finish you off. Then I can... It's gonna do that stupid toxic attack. Summon you here. I'm gonna have my tree friend just start bashing on this guy. Poke you. I can do this. Kill you. I'm gonna die though. So I can't do that. I can run away. <laughs> and end my turn. Can I hit you? No. But I have this. Um, I have to heal myself or I'll die. I can do this. So this will deal two damage. I have to heal myself. I should probably play this. Here. God, this tree is just in the way. And just bash this guy. Just gonna poison everyone again. Oh uh, boy. I'm being a little too greedy, I think. Wait, this thing died. Well, I lost the objective. Well, that's not good. Okay, I just need to finish this fast. So do this. Issue for four. And give you a poke. And then just move into range and finish you off. Dang, the whole point of that was to get the bonus and then the mushroom died for some reason. I don't know what hit it though. All right, allies regain one health when green is created under them. That is making those seedlings a lot more useful. Allied defenders have plus one, plus one. Vigilante allies, vigilant allies do not trigger counterattacks. Do I even have any vigilant allies? Just the the one seedling I made, right? Where is it? This one? Um, I feel like this is pretty good. Oh my god, that wasn't even the boss? <laughs> that was a hard fight. The, a crawler could grow to such an enormous size only after thousands of cycles, but with the voice gone, even the most ancient spirits can succumb to the eclipse. Defeat the enemy hero. Don't let any ally get hit by the falling debris or by the center of the worm's attack. So this is what has been following us through all these tunnels. All this running away makes me feel really sleepy. Snap out of it, dummy. There's no time for sleeping. Okay, so what does this thing do? Burrow underground to perform a lethal hit. Whoa. Collapse the ceiling onto each of your enemies. Summon a wild crawler. Like, does each spot that falls summon a wild crawler? Alright. Of course, there's this stupid crystal in the way. Um, let's start with... Is this thing going to move? It's a mobile. That's good. I can place something here and then start wailing on it. 
So let's get rid of nothing. This is a good hand. I'm going to move... Can I kill this? Hmm. Do I want to place it here? Rush. What does Rush do? Can attack the turn it is summoned. And it's going to do the ceiling thing. I think what I want to do is this and this. Oh, it's doing that attack. So this will... Kill me, right? So you need to move. Um, oh, it like breaks the tiles too. That's crazy. Get you here. I'm gonna create you. And then make this in anticipation of attacking. And I guess that's it. Oh, the debris. Okay, so I can take you out. I think I want to do this. Uh, do I want to complete the objective? I'm going to get hit by debris. This thing does five damage. Hmm. So let's take this out. Oh, that'll push it away, though, right? Oh, it can't get pushed, so I guess not. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll die if I leave it there anyways, so we might as well just move here. Then I can do this. Attack you, start poisoning. And this one can move around. doing its dig attack. It actually didn't finish this one off, which is great. Can put you there. Move this way. Move you here. Place this guy here. Uh, right. Well, actually... Yeah, let's place this guy here. And I can heal myself. Also, yeah, I didn't know that bumped you back. I guess I should have known, because that happened the first time. So that's going to push everyone. This guy does, like, no damage now for some reason. Let's let you die, because you're just going to get hit by the debris, and I want the objective. You can move down this way. You can move here. And also die to the enemy. Oh, you're not going to die, though. So never mind. Let's go back. Uh, let's teleport my character here. I should still have line of sight, right? So it's more damage there. Summon one of these here. Uh, I can't reach that. And heal myself. Okay. So move here. Move here. This guy's gonna die. And I can place this one. And I'll save that. Place another one here. Kill myself. Give you a buff. And end turn. Okay. So I want to weaken you, but I can't. 
What I can do is move here, attack you for four, move you here, finish this guy off, but first make a space. Fine. Place you here. I'm not sure. Let's put some more poison on you. Let's spread things out. That seems to be part of the issue as well. And I will place you here, I guess. I don't know. Because it's just going to do that stupid burrow attack again, right? Yeah. Okay, so this time I want to be ready to attack it. Put you here. Put you here. And... No, no, no. Don't move that one, because then... I want to put you here. Heal... Myself. Place you here. And I'm going to get pushed back that way. Can heal myself or not. Heal you. Okay. So the, now you can attack. And uh, I can weaken you. And you can finish him off. Nice. That wasn't too bad. I had to get more okay with, like, losing my units. I feel like it's okay to use units in this game because they don't go away forever. Um, I can now use the Plague skill. Deal one damage to yourself and all nearby units. That doesn't seem good. Deals more damage... Wait... Give yourself or nearby ally strength, shield, and growth. Give the target shield to and make them a defender. Wow. That's pretty good. This makes it so things can move more. And it gives them more health. I feel like this spell is pretty good. Because I can keep casting it, right? Spells are not are the ones that go here. Yeah, this spell seems pretty strong. Uh, I have plus one, plus one. You receive plus one, plus zero on slaying an enemy. I have plus two, minus two. Uh, I feel like this is pretty good, because then I can just, like, one-shot things with my ranged attack. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, it's just two HP. All right. Let's go... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. I'm going to upgrade some units. So give her 5 damage. And I can upgrade my Warden or my Stalker. I feel like I want to upgrade the Stalker so that it gets an extra health. And it'll, heal. it'll be a lot less likely to die when it hits things. So it can heal more. And we can go down this way, because then there's a chance to do two elites. Lumi lanterns shine bright in place. Actually, you know, I think I'm going to stop here. I just realized that I've been recording for two hours. I'll finish this run in the next video. But uh, yeah, this game is pretty good. It's like, you know, it's like all those other Slay the Spire-like roguelikes and how the map works. But I really like the tactical combat. And the bonus objectives are actually pretty good, too, because... They force you to really play a lot differently than you would otherwise, like in that last level, right? I would have definitely been able to kill that boss pretty easily if I just like went all in on them, but I wanted to avoid getting hit by the falling rocks. And so I had to play a lot more conservatively and like spread my units out and it really impacted the gameplay quite a bit. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, and if you like this game, it's like I said, it's available in Humble Choice uh, until March, which, you know, I think this game alone is probably worth the purchase of it based on what I've seen so far. Uh, I don't know how much replayability it has, but it seems like there's a couple characters and 
Um, so far, the items you find are interesting. Like, I made myself into a ranged poisoner with, you know, uh, high damage, where I started out as, like, a melee character. Uh, anyways, like I said, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.